Ayo hey, review family, keep it I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, review guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. Welcome back to my series track review, the series in which I review tracks. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the track Milan by Thomas Giles featuring Christopher Rigg. And just a bit of a preface, if I sound a bit scratchy, if my voice seems a little like not quite there, it's because I'm going through some sort of sickness. My throat's a little like uh, irritated and stuff like that, but I wanted to record this because this dropped about like three or four hours ago as of the recording of this video. Don't know when it'll go up, but yeah, I'm excited to talk about it with you guys. So Don't Touch the Outside will be coming out on the 9th of November, which is going to be Thomas Giles' solo album. And this track features Christopher Rigg of Ulver and Arcturus fame. Thomas Giles obviously being the frontman of Between the Buried and Me. And right off the bat, this has a very Between the Buried and Me sound on it. And it's pretty obvious. It's like saying that, um, I don't know, uh, Jonathan Davis's album sounds a lot some similar to Korn. Because, I mean, he's from Korn. That's what they've been making for a while. So obviously it's going to have some imprints of that. But yeah, this has a really jazzy feel to it. This is really Between the Buried and Me influence. It has this kind of progression, a bit of jazz influence, a bit of kind of melody, drifty, atmospheric tone to it, which pretty much was a lot present on most of Between the Buried and Me's discography. But I thought it was very interesting that this did take a turn that sounded a lot like the Automata Cycle um, that released earlier this year, which was the two-part... Uh, CD album from Between the Buried and Me, Automata Part 1 and 2, and it sounded a lot like something from one of those albums rather than maybe one of their previous albums that they released, but it still had some of that thing, but this is much more kind of rockish, it has more of a progressive rock feel, a jazz-infused progressive rock feel, and I think that Christopher and um, Thomas do a great job of doing dual vocal duties. And I know a guy called Blake, I'm not 100% sure of the last name, did the percussion. The percussion sounds really great on this, but I think that Christopher and Thomas's vocals are definitely the standout thing. The mix is fantastic. I think that everything seems precisely put in place. I don't think that anything is uh, like muddied at all. A lot of times something may get drowned out or feel more prominent than something else in the mix. I don't think that turns up on this album at all. I think that the uh, mixing like the sound engineering on this song is done to a good effect and I'm hoping that uh, I will be covering the Thomas Giles album now that I know it exists. Um, I hope that the full album has this type of mixing because it sounds great. Obviously it has Thomas Giles lyrics on it. Uh, Between the Buried and Me is known for their kind of eclectic, strange, uh, cryptic lyricism, and this song is no exception. Uh, I'm assuming that Thomas wrote the lyrics, maybe Christopher had a hand in it too, because I know that Olver and Arcturus also had some interesting lyricism. Um, obviously, uh, Christopher's not with Arcturus, he's with Olver now. He was the vocalist and the frontman for Arcturus. But this is definitely a Thomas-like song, I guess. It's, it, a lot of times, if you have a guest vocalist on, it will change up your own style and it can make the track listing seem a bit uh, off-kilter, can make it seem a bit disconnected, but I don't think it does at all. I think that Christopher's just a, kind of an add-on. It's something that brings up the song even more, makes it even better than it could have been. And for that, I really enjoy this track. But I want to know what you guys think, so I'm going to put it in the description below. You can listen to it and come back and tell me what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And I will shout your channel out if you like and comment. In the end screen, you can find my previous videos. I'll probably link like between the Buried and Me related stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. But until then, my name is Jay Morris, a review guy. A very sick Jay Morris, a review guy. And I'm signing off saying farewell. Well.